So I've come across this image on Twitter because you know Twitter is the land of just all kinds of nonsense and it might be the most stupid thing I've ever seen. Now I've spoken multiple times about not politicizing video games. Leave the politics out of the video games but it seems even some of the gamers, I'm assuming this was done by a gamer, it might have been done by a journal, it might have been done by, by some provocateur, it's probably Kotaku for all I know. But some idiot has labelled games left wing and right wing and so in the left wing section you've got stuff like Super Mario Odyssey, The Last of Us, Super Smash Brothers, uh, Crash Bandicoot, Rayman, Spider-Man and then over on the right wing you've got Yakuza, you've got World of Warcraft, you've got Skyrim, Call of Duty, all of the Grand Theft Auto games and it's just a bunch of nonsense, an absolute bunch of nonsense but how did they get to this conclusion? How did they get that Pokemon was left wing, but Saints Row was right wing? How did they get it? Let's go down the list. Let's read what they've had to say. Some are listed by series and others by individual games. In some circumstances, we can put multiple games of the same series together. Okay, whatever. Some games are listed separate despite being in the same series. You're not explaining to me like what makes them left and right. These are dictated by the views, the political views, the games. Um, the games may have or the creators of said games. What? Wait, I swear World of Warcraft uh, Some of the creators have been on like an anti-white rant thing and they're all they all hate Trump or something I'm seriously confused here. What 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 political views does the does this the Sega hold that makes them right-wing? What what does Red Dead work because you kill people in these games, I don't understand uh, sexualization of characters, whether they're minors and or how tasteful the fan service is, is a factor. Sexualization of characters, whether they're minors. What? Am I, am I reading that properly? How, how tasteful the fan service is, is a factor. I don't even know what to say about that one. Uh, let's just move on. We'll, we'll revisit that one. Whether the fan bases of each game bring in more liberals or conservatives is a factor. How do you know? Like, how, how do you know how many liberals to how many... Uh, conservatives play Spider-Man. I mean, Spider-Man is a superhero universally loved. Crash Bandicoot, Metal, Metal Gear Solid. Metal Gear Solid is a game about spies and war. How did you get that it brings in more left people to put it over there? I think they might have Final Fantasy in there. Is that near Ultimata? I can't see. They got Minecraft in there, The Walking Dead, Doom. Doom? Breath of the Wild, Xenoblade Chronicles. This is some straight bullshit. This is bullshit of the highest order. There's no way to know. Who brings in what? I know loads of left-wing people that play Bayonetta. What, because she strips down a small right-wing? Because, I don't know, what, they sexualize in women? Ah, this is, this is, uh, this is a bit mad. Right, let's move on. Whether the games have LGBT traits to them and how they're handled is also a factor. I mean, how? I... Who, who wrote? I would love to know who wrote this. How they handle sensitive subjects such as uh, suicide, self-harm, gender dysphoria, uh, other spicy things is a factor. I, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm at a loss for words. Like I'm, I'm actually at a loss for words. Not all games can be added in for obvious reasons. Literally couldn't tell you what the obvious reasons are. Like I don't understand. The vote and affiliation for 2016 and 2020 of both the creators and the fans play a factor in their position. Do we know where Rock, uh, Rockstar voted? Do we know where they voted? I mean, Rockstar's a UK developer anyway, but do we know where they sit on the, the talking points? Do we know where Bethesda sits, where Santa Monica sits, where Sega sits? Wait, so they, they've got Xeno, Xenoblade Chronicles 1 over in left wing and Xenoblade Chronicles 2 in right wing. Can someone that plays Xenoblade Chronicles tell me exactly what made it left and what made that right? What makes Final Fantasy 7 a left wing game? If I didn't know any better, I would say this came from Kotaku. I, I would be willing to bet it came from Kotaku. I don't know what to say about this nonsense. So I found it on, uh, on uh, Mr. Spooky Pants. Um, I found it on his page and uh, I, I don't know where, it, where it's come from because I've looked down the comment section and I, I don't know what to say. This is, this, is, this is quite possibly one of the dumbest things I've ever seen. Like Yakuza, for example. I know that these, uh, 
these uh, socially woke people have a hard time understanding the message that Yakuza is trying to get across and they just paint it with the toxic masculinity thing but to call it right wing or even left wing if they put it over there it, it doesn't make any sense to me it makes no sense to me at all the games are not inherently as far as i'm aware they don't lean either way they are for everyone they're a, they're a source of entertainment that all people age groups uh wherever you are on the planet you can all enjoy it they even put the unannounced harry potter rpg game <laughs> over in right wing probably because uh jk rowling who was someone that sung the praises sung the praises of the left wing stepped out of line uh according to them and now now uh, now harry potter is a right wing game the witcher mortal kombat mortal kombat 10 is a right what well, what makes mortal kombat 10 a right wing game because you're killing people I, I i'm lost battlefield i thought battlefield introduced female uh female soldiers into a time where female soldiers didn't exist in the war uh, mistake me if uh, correct me if i'm wrong resident evil i don't understand resident evil's had female characters at the forefront i would think that's something they put over in the left side this is all a, a bunch a bunch of nonsense i don't even know what i'm trying to legitimize or, or make sense of it the, to anyone that that thinks that games are inherently left or right leaning and that they are to, they are more likely to be enjoyed by a certain type of crowd you're you're an idiot i'll take the last of us 2 as a prime example of this now a lot of people might look at that game and go that's a very left-leaning game it's got you know um lesbian relationships and a very butch woman who has beaten up the men and you know did what she did in the game but i know a lot of right-wing people that like that game that I've spoken to personally I, I don't like that game and I sit center of politics this is this is this is mad but that's not the only one there's 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 something else that I came across whilst looking through the Twitter the Twitter section um, and I haven't actually read it yet because I've come across it during this video so this is this is uh, this is gonna be news to me so let's read through it because I don't know what I'm reading here Neofun Games that only appeal to the lowest common denominator and don't try to hide that fact. Gameplay has been simplified so that the average retard doesn't feel too challenged. These people don't actually enjoy video games. There's no actual fun to be found in these games, only peer pressure and a full sense of accomplishment. Even though these games have a bad reputation on the internet, they still sell like hotcakes. And you've got Call of Duty Black Ops, Fake Ground Order, Battlefield 4, Fallout, Angry Birds, Pokemon Go, Fortnite. I think that's Candy Crush and League of Legends. Okay, and new fun. These are basically the same as Neo Fun games, except they try to hide that fact. Thanks to devious marketing and shilling, these games get unwarranted praise on the internet. These are mostly enjoyed by wannabes who don't want to be lumped in with the normal crowd, but lack any form of actual skill. They get tricked into thinking they're playing a proper game and are experiencing a full sense of fun. Fallout New Vegas. Neko Paro, Cyberpunk 2077, the game isn't even out yet. The game's not even out yet. The Witcher, which is a fantastic game. You got Death Stranding, Five Nights at Freddy's, Undertale, and I don't know what that is. Uh, and then you've got Soy Fun, a new type of non-fun non caused by the rise of effeminate man-children. Too much soy intake by these individuals causes the estrogen to take over the host's mind. <laughs> After which the host can only derive joy from pushing liberal values and reminiscing his childhood. High, high estrogen levels are also detrimental to their, uh, for their motoric, motoric skills. Aside from being unable to keep their mouths closed, the gameplay has to be baby tier or non-existent for these soy boys to enjoy. And you've got Breath of the Wild, God of War, Super Mario Odyssey, Uncharted 4, Last of Us Part 2, Super Smash Bros and Nintendo Labo. <clears throat> I don't know who these people are that make these stupid pictures on the internet. I'm fairly certain they're just taking the piss. But unfortunately, in 2020, if 2020 has taught me anything is that there are, I hate to say it, but it feels like there are far more idiots out there than there are rational people. I come across them every day and the internet is full of them. I'm afraid that the more that I scroll down the comment section, the more likely I am to run into something stupid. But I think the point of this video has been made. Games are not inherently anything. They're a form of art that can be enjoyed by all kinds of people, whether the game is easy, like Angry Bird, 
or very hard like Demon's Souls. I enjoy simple games like Fall Guys. I enjoy extremely hard games like Dark Souls. I enjoy games that sit in the middle like Yakuza for example. I don't find Yakuza to be particularly hard, there are, it does get me at times, don't get me wrong, but I enjoy the game's gameplay overall and the story. There's, there's games you can enjoy at every section, I enjoy competitive games, a lot of this channel is Tekken and Mortal Kombat. I enjoy games where I'm sitting on my own planet, I enjoy games where they try to scare me. It's, there's Whoever wrote this is some low hanging loser who has literally had nothing better to do. The same goes for the first picture that I had on screen earlier. People that write these kinds of things, if they're being serious, I, I'm, I'm fairly certain this is a troll. If they're not, because I, again, I'm, I'm saying that I'm fairly certain it's a troll, but I know that there's people out there that think like this. These, these people are not well. They're not well. Mentally, they're not, they're not okay. And my best advice to them would to be to stay off the internet and seek help. Go be in nature, you know, go find yourself, go to the gym, do something constructive. Maybe video games are not the best way to spend your time. If you are making video games a left, wing, a left wing and right wing thing because we've got the elections coming up very soon and the country and America is very split. Even the UK, you know, we chime in on the Trump and Biden thing a lot. And we did back when uh, Trump was running against Hillary. It was a big talking point over here. And you're seeing this sort of stuff pop up more and more. But there is a time and place to talk about Trump and Biden. And this isn't one of them. Final Fantasy has nothing to do with left wing politics and neither does Dark Souls. Dark Souls has nothing to do with right wing politics. Call of Duty is a game about war. War is something that people on both sides of the aisle have partake, partaken in. That's just how it is. That's how life goes. So if you're one of these people out there that has it in your head that a game is more left leaning than right leaning because some things that, may, that are in the game may, may lead you to think that and you think that the developers lean a certain way and I'm not saying that they don't. I'm, I'm fairly certain that you could pinpoint developers that do lean a certain way. But if that's, if that's what you're looking for when you're playing a video game, you're an idiot. Video games are probably not your best pastime. You probably have to invest in something else in your life. I don't know what else to say. This is just a, a, a bag of bullshit. But, you know, sometimes it's fun to talk about. So I'll catch you guys on the next video. I hope you enjoyed it. Peace.